Hey guys. Okay, I am back this week. And this week I will be doing another unboxing. It's, it's kind of my thing at this point. Um, <laughs> um, but this week, what I shall be doing is literally the magical box. And as it says on the front, this is the Wizards Tournament one. Uh, again, the artwork on those boxes is amazing. So on the top we have Litjoy Magical Subscription, Wizards Tournament with Harry riding on his broom. And then on the side, um, on the bottom, excuse my address, um, we've got um, the cup right there. Forgot what it's called because my brain is mush today. Um, so we got the dry wood cup there. Goblet of fire, whatever. Yeah, my brain is mush today. Please excuse me, I will forget everything. Um, and ah, on the sides, we've got Victor Krom with his little shark, whatever the Friggy did in the sea. Um, we've got Ron there, and I'm assuming that's supposed to be Fleur. And on this side, uh, obviously this is um, one of the scenes from with the, the Sphinx in the maze. I believe it was Sphinx. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've read that book. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, my brain is mush today, so I'm second guessing myself on what I is correct and what isn't. Um, but I believe that that was during the last task in the maze before everything went down. And then the last one is of the uh, golden egg and the dragon, uh, which lead with the fire that leads up back to Harry. Yeah. Okay, so let's get going. I have talked enough about the artwork. I just think they really outdo themselves with every single box on the artwork. The only downside is that the artwork doesn't transcend to the inside of the box, which would be really cool, but given what they do... Oh, I forgot. Uh, on the inside, we have this of all the four um, champions. It's very, very cool. Um, but yeah, it doesn't transcend to the inside of the box. It would be cool if they could do that. But, you know, given what they do with the outside of the box, it's pretty amazing. So I can't really complain too much. It was just, it's just an aside because I just, I'm a big fan of aesthetic. And um, so I kind of... Um, I like everything to sort of merge together and be very fluid and to make sense so but i don't know if that's just like the artistic side of my brain it's just like everything needs to flow and be related to each other and make sense in that respect but that might be just me okay okay so that's our cheat sheet i'm assuming let's get started oh this is a heavy boy Oh, the, again, all of the boxes seem to have this amazing artwork on them, and I really, really love it. So, right at the top, I've got an owl. I don't know if this is a specific owl, but that is definitely Hogwarts. Um, and then on the sides, we've got the different champions and their... Uh, their methods for breathing underwater. So we've got Harry, um, and um, I'm assuming that, that is a uh, uh, Cedric Degree, uh, Victor Crumb, and Fleur Delacour. Is there anything on the bottom? Nope, there isn't. Just a logo. Okay, so let's get this guy open. Okay, it looks like, oh, it's a teapot. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Don't throw everything everywhere. This is breakable. 
Uh, I'm not a big tea person, but I know people who are, so I probably will use it just for them. I'll put this down. Here. But yeah, so here we have, let's get all the pieces out first. That's probably a good idea. And I'll put them all together so you can see them properly as they are meant to be seen. In fact, I have one of my closest friends, um, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Um, she is from America. And I know that she likes tea. So I will maybe make her some nice tea out of my tea cup and sauce. And yeah, my tea cup and my tea pot. And my little saucer. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll show you them individually first, and then I will, okay first off, then I'll do it all together. So first off, I love the design on this plate, with all the little, the little sea creatures, that's really really cool. I have a natural obsession with the sea, like I, I really love it. Um, I instantly feel better when I am um, uh, close to the sea, so this is quite special. I love the little, all the little sea creatures, like the little octopus and um, just look how amazing that artwork is. It's gorgeous, absolutely love it. And plus, it's green, so. Can't see those green. This is so so cute. Right. Okay, so like with the box, we've got all of the try with the champions in there with this gorgeous little border. This I don't know if it's filigree or um basically this brown leaf designed border, which also they've put on the actual um hold holder of it which I think is really, really great attention to detail. It's a shame that you can have like the whole of the cup. Again, I like things to flow. So it's a shame that you've got this white part here, but I understand with the, um, cause I went to art college. So, and I did do some pottery making. And I do realize that with all of the processes that go into pottery making, it is difficult to get a design it can be difficult to get a design around these areas which is why a lot of the time um cups like this especially ones that have very intricate designs won't have it on like say this part and the bottom part there'll be like some sort of border that hasn't got a design on it this is from what i know from what my teachers told me this is a lot to do with the processes of um, creating pottery and making um, designs like this on the pottery you just sometimes it just it doesn't work or it will um, it will affect the design in some way so I understand from that perspective why it hasn't they were unable to have it over the entirety of the cup um, but it's just it would I just feel like aesthetically it would look a lot better if it did have that in the entirety of the cup with a design on it. Um, but yeah, that's just, it's one of those things like if it can't be done, then it can't be done and there's nothing anyone can really do about it, but it would be nice if it was there. I just think it would look better, that's all. Okay, so this is the actual teapot. Okay, again, they've put this not um, leaf design on the actual finger holder part and then on here we've got a few little tentacles poking out uh, and some owls and hogwarts right here and you've got the knot design all along the edge again it is kind of sad that they can't have that knot progress in one single line but yeah, it is what it is. And it is a beautiful set. And I absolutely love its pieces. Um, and yeah, I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. And even they've put the knot even on the edge, which I think is a really cool design choice is to 
put them not even on the edges around the lid of the teapot which is really really cool i absolutely love that kind of attention to detail um yes yeah, so this is the tea set all together look how beautiful that is the artwork on this is absolutely stunning and i absolutely adore it uh as i said there's a few little things that i would like to see if they could do something about but i have a feeling from what i remember from art class because it's been a long time since i was in art college and especially since i've done any pottery making but it would be nice if i could it would be cool if they could find some way of um, getting rid of this this white part because it's always annoyed me and I hate it. But I realise I understand that you know just there's just certain things that you just can't do, or it or it's extremely difficult to do. Um, I don't know if there's someone who's come up with a technique that can um, get rid of that, but I don't know of them myself. So. From what I understand, it's just extremely difficult to do, and it may not even be worth it uh, in the end. Um, but I do do love like this. I don't want to say it's my favourite too early, because I haven't seen what's in the rest of the box. But I, I, I'm leaning towards this purely for this design. That it, it's all about the design for me for this item. Absolutely, I love it. Right, okay, so let's see what else we got in here. Oh uh, yeah, again, some great artwork. I love this design, the purple and blue is awesome. So we've got the Triwits of Cup, um, Voldemort here, poke him in the face. <laughs> um, and yeah, and on the back, we've got all of the uh, Triwits of Champions, getting ready to go down their little maze. And Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, it's wooden. Oh, there's things moving. Up. Oh, okay, sorry about that. My uh, my son wanted me to tuck him in. Um, might have shoved him a bit hard, but I didn't mean to. Okay, so yeah, this is a game of some kind. I need to get the little ball thing out. Come on. Yeah, get up. There we go. Okay, so here we go. So we've got a little... Okay, it's kind of hard to, to play the actual game. I'll see if I can get it. So, so yeah, it's got like... You've got your little... Yeah, there we go. Got your little ball. Go right there. It's a little maze, like a little marble maze, which is very, very cool. And I believe, yeah, you've got, and I think it's supposed to depict the actual maze in the Goblet of Fire, the book. Uh, so you've got Harry here, you've got the Sphinx, Ridley Sphinx up here. Uh, I believe that that's, uh, I don't know if it's actually Aragorn or just a spider, a very, very large spider. Uh, we've got the Triwizard Cup right here. Uh, I can see if I can see anything else. Uh, I believe that this up here is a Dementor. Very, very cool. I love that they've designed it after the... Um, they've taken the design of the maze and created a game out of it. And plus, when I was little, I loved these games. These were my favourite thing to do. Like, if I was bored and there was nothing to do, I would play one of these. I love these guys. And it was just... It was something that was always... Sort of fun and a little bit of a challenge, but not too much, you know. Although maybe it was more challenging for other people, but I just loved the sort of balancing that you had to do with these boys. I really loved. I love that they've put little holes in there to make it extra challenging, which is very very cool. But yeah, love that. I will definitely be showing that to my kids later. Uh, I might have to give my son a cuddle later. I think he was a bit upset that I made him leave. But, okay, so with this one, okay, 
that's the nice little box. It's a textured box, and I love the gold on the top. It, this one says a lot of like high quality to me. Uh, it says, come seek us where our voices sound. Uh, so there we go. So, so I believe that was part of the message when Harry... I don't want to go into it too much because there might be people watching this who haven't read the Goblet of Fire or don't remember this part, but I believe that was part of the message um, in the Goblet of Fire. And I was right, so um, here we go. We've got a lovely little golden egg. It's got this really sort of that velvety feel foam um, that you get with like jewelry boxes. It's got that sort of stuff in it. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy out. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it's currently covered in some plastic. I'll probably to protect the actual shine of it. Um, but let's see if we can take that off because I hate this stuff. Just... All those fails, use your teeth. There we go. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but oh well, it's mine now, so I can do what I want. Okay, so this is gorgeous. So we've got a little owl surrounded by some feathers. On this. He makes you look like a little owl son. This is quite funny. Um, and here we have that's like engravings of a town. Which is very, very cute. It's kind of the, it's sort of a little bit, the design is very simple. So it's very simple lines, almost childlike, but in a more professional manner, if you know what I mean. Uh, so let's open this, see if we can open this guy up. Oh yes, he can, he opens. Ah, I see, so what they've done is they've got these little magnets inside to keep it together. But you can open it. There we go. So there, we've got the inside. Um, it is a little, it does seem to have a few dyes on the inside. I don't know if that's on purpose or if they just, they accidentally left those on there because it does seem to say two, three on that one, but nothing on this one. So I don't know if that's just, that was just a mistake on their part or if it's actually supposed to look like that. Um, but yeah, so that is our golden egg. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece absolutely beautiful about the detail they've done with all of these parts and having like the feathers and the detail on the having the class be an owl um i just love this piece i think it's beautiful and i think the box that it comes in is gorgeous as well let's try and get that one back in there there we go okay so let's put that back in its box for now but yeah that is gorgeous. We'll have to find somewhere to display that later. Okay, and okay. Ooh, okay, here I believe this is a bookmark. That's very interesting. Okay, ah, so it's like a Yule Ball invitation bookmark. Okay, let's take this out. Yeah, so look, you have a gorgeous little metallic or metal um, Yule Ball invitation style um, bookmark. That's well, sorry, mirrored. I should probably say mirrored, not metallic. What's, what's wrong with me? Uh, so that's a yeah, a mirrored um, bookmark with. Really pretty little tassel and a little bead goes very well with the the silver of the mirror. I think that works really well, and I think this little tassel bit is beautiful. I love a good tassel, especially a soft one, and this boy is soft. So I love, love, love that one. Okay, so what have we got next? 
Ah, we got our pin. Oh, I know what this is. This. This is a little beautiful writing her notes. So this is, so this would be um, Miss Rita Skeeter in her Animagus form, which is a beetle, um, writing out her stories on all of the happenings of the Triwizard Tournament and uh, generally causing havoc wherever she goes. Okay, next. Ah. And this one, it's another pen. This one, being that this is all about the try with the tournament. Oh, the pin is open. That's not good. Put that back. Never happened. Um, obviously, we have the. What's it? Things. It's kind of hard to get the, the yeah the support uh, Cedric Diggory Potter Stinks um, badge that was in that book, but yeah, it wouldn't be a box about the Tri Wizard Champions or the Tri Wizard Tournament without uh, one of these pins because whenever this particular theme comes up we usually see a pin like this um that has the pot stinks or something to do with that uh it's kind of sucked for harry that was kind of mean but you know whatever kids are dickhead okay and here We have some there, uh, people. I was right. Yeah. Okay, and we have a little piece of artwork here. So we got the Triwizard Cup um, and all the Triwizard Champions. Lovely piece of artwork. Uh, it says artwork by at Seaside Spirit. So yeah, that's a lovely little piece of artwork to add to my collection and here oh the feel of these um it's, it's a very soft feel like almost rubbery but not quite um uh, anyway lovely little piece of artwork to do with the mare people love that and on the back it says mare people ministry of magic classification beast Merfolk are a legendary and mysterious half-human, half-sea creature, aquatic race, sometimes known as a siren, sulky or marrow, depending on their physical appearance, traits and location around the world. Despite differences in subspecies, uh, all merfolk love and create music and mischief. Best known for the Black Lake Mer people colony helped pre prepare the 1994 Triwizard Tournament, a clue recording recorded in the mer people's native tongue was placed in a golden dragon egg for the champions to figure out in preparation for the second task and yeah so that is the little information card on the back and beautiful portrait of the mer people on the front and for some reason i have three of them um, I'm guessing that's another mistake on the part of uh, Lit George Cray. Um, hopefully that means that someone else hasn't um, been left without one, um, but I'm sure they'll fix that um, if that is the case. Uh, but yeah, I ended up with um, three of them. Okay, um, but I might keep them all together just in case. Maybe see if I can send them back or something. Um, but yeah, so, lovely, lovely artwork there. Okay, uh, let's have a, take a quick look at our, um, cheat sheet. Uh, I'm not going to read the entire thing just because their cheat sheets tend to be quite long. Um, and I will be here until the end of time. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the Potter Stinks button 
I still find it funny that America's calling it a button. Um, to me, this is a, a badge. Badge. Um, support the real champion in yeah, the Triwiz tournament. Just use this button pin to support Cedric Diggory, the real Hogwarts champion, in luminous red letters. Or if a teacher isn't around, flash the potter really stinks in glowing green letters. Just like Ron, we weren't quite sure what happened when Harry was mysteriously selected as the fourth champion to complete in the 1994 Triwiz tournament. Either way, now you can enjoy the magic and this lenticular button as it shifts back and forth between phrases. Um, uh, it was designed by Tim Bereen, um, and it's a great exclusive. Okay, um, and then we've got the Golden Egg Replica. This is also an exclusive, literary great exclusive. So that guy there, that is it. Yeah. So there is our lovely golden egg replica. I'm not going to take it out again. But there, there he is. Isn't that beautiful, beautiful boy? Okay. Um, and then we have the Rita Skeeter beetle enamel pin right there. Um, and um, the Triwizard Tournament art print right there oh lovely lovely art print i do love that art. i love to know who their artists are because i noticed that this the art style is similar to the art style on the box so i would love to know who their artist is um oh seaside print i said it earlier didn't i so um yeah check out at seaside print i'm assuming that they're on instagram or something um but yeah uh, I love that, love that art style. It's really, really pretty. Um, okay, and we've got the Yule Ball Invitation Metal Bookmark. Love, love that. Oh, so pretty and reflective. Yeah. Okay, and we've got the. Tea for one set, Black Lake tea set. Love this. My baby. My baby. I'm just saying something from someone who drinks coffee. Okay, and we've got the Mer People Adventure Card. Um, um oh. And the Try Wizard Labyrinth May Wooden Maze. Like Try Wizard Maze Wooden Labyrinth. That's the one. That's it. That's what I was trying to say. Unfortunately, they have written the title in a circular spiral motion, which when I was trying to read it upside down, uh, did not compute in my brain. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I didn't get any add-ons this time. Um, just because I, I, I forgot. Honestly, I just forgot. Um, so that was our cheat sheet. Um, there is a lot of, they do a lot of writing in their cheat sheets, which I appreciate. I love that uh, when I can sit down and read it all. But, um, but yeah, it's pretty much just, I love how they've designed it like an issue of the Daily Prophet, sort of. Or like some kind of magazine in relation to... Um, oh yeah, it even says at the top, Try Wizard Tournament Special by Rita Skeeter. So yeah, they've designed it like a little magazine that you could just you could buy anywhere. Um... Which I think is a really nice little addition. And I might actually just keep this just because I think it's cute. Uh, I like how it uh, relates to the um, to the box in general. I just think that's really cute. And obviously, have a little preview of 
the next box, which uh, coming next, Magical Express. But yeah, that is it for this box. Um, I have to say, my favourite items would probably be the tea set because I love the the mer people sea creatures underwater aesthetic. I think that's really really cute. I love everything. I love um, the sea, especially. I actually wanted to study um, a few marine subjects when I was younger, um, but uh, I was unable to do so for reasons. Um, but yeah, I was interested in marine um, engineering, but I was also interested in oceanography. So I do have a genuine interest in the sea, and sea creatures and marine conservation. So, um, yeah, so anything to do with like water and the sea and fish and other sea creatures, especially mythological sea creatures, I'm all about. I love, love, love it. And uh, also, it's in my favourite colour, green! But yeah. Um, and my other favourite item would probably be the golden egg, because look, at it, it's, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. I think the quality of that is absolutely spot on. Uh, it's a shame it's got the ink on the inside, but, you know, these things happen. And plus, I'm sure that... Literally makes quite a few of these boxes, so there's always going to be one that's um, that maybe has like a little mistake on it or something like that, or it might not even be a mistake. Maybe they put it in from, on purpose. And also, bookmark. I always love a bookmark, especially one as beautiful as this one. I just think this is gorgeous bookmark. And to be honest, this could be an ornament. Like you didn't necessarily have to have it as a bookmark. It could just be like a pretty ornament. And it, um, I'm kind of feeling the aesthetic as well, because yeah, I just love it so much. So that all those are my top items. Bookmark, because and plus you can never have any too many bookmarks. Let's be real. Tea set. Even though I don't drink tea, might have to start. Um, and the golden egg so yeah those are my my top items um oh and i really love this this um is giving me nostalgic feelings right now so i'm gonna have to have a crack at this but yeah so those were my favorite items um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye